And um, if you could just l let us know how um, have businesses been doing so far? I know that the student population's up. We're actually at our highest year this far, or so far. So how are the businesses doing? Well, in the economy as it is, Shannon, as you know, everybody right now is, is really uh, doing everything they can just to stay in business. But I think, um, you know, having the additional students here has been a godsend for this community. Uh, I moved here 20 years ago and there was like 10,000 students here at that time and right now we're I think at 19,000 yes, so uh, you know I think about um, when my children were in college and if they needed new tires they bought those new tires in the town they were in college they didn't go home and do that so that's great for our economy we uh, certainly appreciate all that the students bring to um, Bullock County and uh, we just appreciate each and every one of you. Okay well great. And um, how businesses with the economy doing the way it is, um, we have a lot of local business in Statesboro. How right. are these local businesses doing? So, uh, you know, we have lost some businesses, I'm sorry to say, but, um, you know, the ones that are uh, thriving and doing very well are, uh, you know, we've got such wonderful small boutiques and uh, nice little places that you probably haven't even found yet in your visits here in town. And uh, they seem to be doing okay. You know, we're, we're hoping that when the figures come in from Black Friday, as it's called, you know, that Bullock County uh, survived it very well. Um, I know I was out shopping and there was an awful lot of people out, you know, spending their money here. So we appreciate that very much. And speaking of Black Friday, um, our, our teachers just had their furloughs this week. Um, for mm -hmm. Georgia Southern, furloughs happened during Thanksgiving break. Mm -hmm. And we were wondering, do you think, and we know that the figures aren't in yet, but do you mm -hmm. think that that had any effect on the market for Black Friday? Well, you know, you hate to hear that, that, that we've had to go to those measures uh, during this economy, but, you know, every every business has to do what they have to do to make their bottom line work and, and the university system is not, you know, they're not privy to not being affected by that. So um, we're certainly sorry that that had to happen, but I, I don't know really. I guess we'll know when the figures come in whether that has had an effect or not. I hope not. Um, you know, I know that those people still have to have Christmas and or plan to have Christmas and um, so hopefully they chose that weekend to maybe get out and spend a little bit of their money here in Bullock County. We hope so. Well, I know that some of the local businesses I talked to said that so far everything was going well and that they hadn't had any issues with um, Well, furloughs. it's been uh, four days. Today's Thursday after, you know, after last week. And I haven't had any calls saying that it was terrible. So that's I'm good. hoping that that's a very good sign. Right. So, yeah, it'll be a while probably before we, before we really know. But there's something I would like to mention to you because yeah. I know that maybe some of the students will be watching this. Um, I hope that you'll keep in mind that when you shop locally, that money helps generate tax dollars for the community where you shop. Um, whether it is with a local, if you shop at a local boutique that's, that's owned by a, a person here in the community or someone else, 68 cent of every dollar stays in the community that helps to build schools and roads and splash in the borough and different things that the community thrives on. Um, if you shop at a Walmart or a, a Hobby Lobby or something like that, 48 cents of every dollar stays in the community. But if you shop online, which I know <laughs> most of you in this viewing audience at the, at the college <laughs> do, there's not one penny that stays in the community. So we really want you to be thinking about that as you do your shopping this year. Remember that when you do shop online, no money comes back to help your community. So. Um, a lot of people it's easier. You don't have to get out and shop and you don't have to get out when the wind is raining like it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. but, but always consider that, that at least when you're spending your dollars in your hometown or where you're living, uh, that money is helping the community where you are, so. And I know that's something I personally never thought about because I, it's just, it was easy. It's easy, but shop. people my age are touchy-feely people. We like to pick it up and smell it or, to, you know, <laughs> or feel the fabric or whatever. But um, I know that for your age and, and even a lot older than you, uh, people in their 40s even, you know, and that's young for me. But, you know, that's become a way for them to shop is to go online because it's easy. They can pick up that telephone and give them your credit card number and it's delivered to their back door. But I sure do hope that everybody will think about that the next time they pick up that phone because it sure, it helps your community when you do shop locally. Okay. Ms. Chapman suggests Statesboro residents fill out upcoming consensus forms to better the local businesses. 